Paul, just take you back to, to before your players walked out onto the pitch. You obviously knew the Crystal Palace result and then, and then the whole result. You've been saying all week, regardless of those things, you need to win the game. But, but it's, a, it's a door of opportunity. Did it change any kind of mentality for you? No, we knew, we obviously knew the result, it gave us uh, a lift and it was then about taking the opportunity and not wasting it. Uh, told the players before they went out, of course you've got to play with your hearts, give it everything you can, but also play intelligently. And you know, the very last thing I said was just go out and win the first half and then second half, we can half time we can talk about things that we might need to do better or tactical changes. They went and did that, second half was you know, tough at times because they really took the ball and created a lot of chances, but the team defended brilliantly. And over the last three games, you know, we conceded one goal, a penalty that shouldn't have been given. And to, you know, have played against Stoke, Man City and Everton, picked up seven points and only conceded that one controversial goal is, uh, just shows how good we've been recently. I have to say that, um, you know, Alfie Mawson again today has been absolutely tremendous for you. I don't mean to sort of say that he, the others weren't, but I mean, again, he just stands out, a, a real proper defender. No, he put in a good performance, as did his partner, um, Fernandez, and the goalkeeper as well. And I have to say, all the team defensively, because you know, we talk about defending collectively, starts at the front, finishes with our goalkeeper, about being compact, about working for each other. And we really had to do that, because we played a quality side today, who are you know, in Europe next year, you've got good players, good movement, they cause us a lot of problems. The second goal just wouldn't come, you were so close to it three or four times. Yeah, and when, that, uh, when you don't get that second goal, you're always wondering, well, are, you, are we going to be punished for this? Um, you know, one off the post, a couple of great saves from the goalkeeper, a header that got deflected over the bar. You know, they had their fair, you know, fair few chances as well, but we got there in the end, and when that final whistle went, it was a great feeling. Last time I saw you, you just walked off the pitch having lost 3-1 to Spurs when you were winning 1-0 in the 89th minute. Did that cross your mind? Around 82, 83 minutes I did, uh, th did think of that, and I'm sure the players as well, and that's why they were so concentrated right to the end, and they, they saw the game out well. They really did, and um, it is a test of nerve, isn't it? It's a, it's a sign of character, of being able to deal with pressure. Yeah, it's about learning about things that have happened in the past and making sure those things don't happen in the future. And they were also helped magnificently by our supporters today. Uh, uh, you know, that was a brilliant atmosphere from start to finish, and. Uh, you know, I have to say a big thank you to the fans for getting behind us like that. Now, it's in your hands, you can't ask for any more than that with two games to play. We're just focusing on Sunderland now. Um, they had a really good result today, obviously they've been relegated, but you know, it just shows when the pressure's not quite there, it's probably enjoyed, enjoyed the game, they took a great support there. We know it's a tough place to go because they have such good fans. But uh, the form we're in, we're confident that we can go anywhere and get a result. We're going to be working really hard this week in training. We're going to be focused, only going to be thinking about Sunderland on Saturday. Such an ecstatic atmosphere at the end of the game there, Paul. It's, a, it's one of your jobs now when you get the boys back in for training um, to kind of bring them down a little bit and remind them that, you know, OK, that's great, it's what we wanted, but it's not done. No, absolutely it's not done. I mean, it just, just shows what happened this weekend. The swing can go one way for you one week and then the next week it goes against you. We've got to make sure that we perform really well, do the very best we can against Sunderland, try and pick up all three points.